Now that we have implemented all the methods in the entity base repository, we are going to update the actor service to use the entity base repository. The first thing that we need to do in here is that we need to use the i entity base and all the models or all the entities in our app now need to inherit from the i entity base. So for that, let us go to the actor.cs and then inherit from the i entity base. So let us import the namespace and the namespace is going to be the data.base. In here now, if you want, you can remove the ID key, but if you don't remove this key, that that value will simply be overridden. Now, let us just go to the I entity base and then close this tab, then go to the I actors service. And in the I actors service, we are now going to simply remove all these methods and then inherit in here from the I entity base repository. So I entity base repository. Let us import the namespace and the namespace is the data.base. But now here we need to pass as a parameter the model or the entity. The entity in this case is the actor class. And here let us go to the actors service. And here now we are going to also inherit from the entity base repository. So we have actors service. We are going to inherit in here from the entity base repository so repository and let us import the namespace that is the data.base this is going to take a parameter because it is a generic class and that is going to be the actor and then comma we also have the i actors service but now instead of injecting the appdb context within the actors service we are going to pass the appdb context to the base class which is in this case the entity base repository so let us remove all these methods so i'll just remove this method then scroll up in here and then just type in here column then base we are going to pass the context to the base class and then you can remove this part but you can also remove this line let us save all the changes and then go to build and then build the solution. And let us check if we have any errors. So we can see that the build was a success. Now let us just go to the entity base repository. And then here I'll just add a breakpoint on the get all async. And then start this project. Now here I'll just go to management and then go to the actors. And we can see in here that we reached the breakpoint in the entity base repository. And this means that the current implementation is working fine. And then click the continue button. So let us just copy this image and copy image address, then add a new actor. So paste the image. This is going to be test base repository and test base repository and then click the create button and if you scroll down in here we can see that the actor was not added so let us just go to the actors controller so now just stop visual studio then go to the solution explorer and then in here go to the controllers inside here we have the actors controller then scroll down in here to the create action result so what we have in here is that we are just using the add async method but we are not saving the changes in the database now the reason why we need to call the save changes in the constructor is because in the entity base repository we do not have the save changes method now what you can do is that you can either use the save changes method in here or you can use the same method in the actors controller so let us just modify the entity base repository. So let us say we are adding in an asynchronous way an entity to the database. Remove the goes to and then just type in here await then underscore context dot save changes async. Control C. We can do the same in the delete async. In the get all async, we do not need to change anything in the get by id async either. 
let's also add it in here so await then underscore context dot save changes async and let us scroll up in here and we see that we do not need to add it anywhere else let us just go back to the actors controller and see if we have the save changes in any of the action results so in the edit we do not have it in the delete we do not have it and that's all so let us just run visual studio one more time and you'll just go to management then go to actors so we get a list of actors let us just go and add a new actor let us add a profile picture let us add a full name so test based repository and test based repository as a biography and then click the create button reached the breakpoint i'll just remove the breakpoint and then click continue now if you scroll down in here you can see that the test based repository actor was added now let us update i'll change this to update it update it and then click the update button if you scroll down you'll see that it was updated let us show the details you can see that we get the details and if you click in the show all you also get all actors now let us click the delete button and then confirm this action and you can see that the actor was removed so we are now able to perform all the four main functionalities so the get so this includes the get all and get by id the add update and delete functionalities using a base repository on the upcoming parts now that we have set up the base repository it's really easy to add the same functionality for other entities like the producers the cinemas and the movies